Welcome back to Technique Quad. Today's video is all about the, the first pull of the snatch. I'm Doug Larson with the Barbell Slug Podcast. This is Alex Macklin. He's one of our faction and barbell slug, slugged. Barbell <laughs> slugged. He's one of our faction and barbell shrugged weightlifting coaches, and he's also one of the coaches in the six month muscle gain challenge. Uh, so, uh, first, we'll let Alex pull a full snatch just so you can get an idea uh, of what we're looking at today. There you go. So, uh, if, we, if we let Alex go through uh, the full snatch movement, or at least the pull in slow motion, I'm going to break down where the starting position is, where the first pull is, where the transition is, and where the, the second or the explosive part of the pull is. So, go ahead and do a, a slow motion pull. So, right now, he's getting into the starting position. Again, perfect starting position here. First pull, nice and slow. He's pushing his knees back, stop right there. That's pretty much the extent of the first pull. Maybe a little bit longer, go a little bit longer. Right when he starts to re-bend his knees and push his knees under the bar, that's the transition. And then when he goes to re-extend his knees and, and pull and shrug uh, the weight and to put it overhead, that's really the second pull. It's the explosive part of the movement. So today we're gonna focus on the first pull only. Again, we've already done a video on the starting position, so if you, wanna, if you want the details about how to get into a perfect start position, we have a video on that already made, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna refer you to that video. For the first pull, if Alex goes, go ahead and get into a good starting position, we're gonna talk about the details of the first pull. There you go, beautiful. So basically, again, the first pull is from the floor, and while you're extending your knee, once your knee starts to re-bend, then you're not in the first pull anymore. Beautiful. So. Again, if he's here, my knee is bent, he straighten, 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 straighten. The second my knee starts to rebend a little bit, when I start to get into my power position, before I come here and I, I get that triple extension and I start to shrug, that's all transition and second pull stuff. Today we're talking about just the first pull. So here's how to do it correctly. Go and do it one more time. You can see Alex gets into a good starting position, and then as the bar comes off the ground, he keeps his posture, arm stays straight, butt stays down. Beautiful. One more time. Look at the angle of his back. The angle of his back is going to stay pretty consistent the whole time. Uh, what he's not doing, go and do a stripper snatch where your butt pops up. So what he's not doing is having his, his butt pop up like this. So his butt popped up first and his back kind of came all the way flat where it was almost parallel to the ground. Uh, you're not going to have very good leverage like that throughout the rest of the movement, especially on your transition and your second pull. It might be easier off the floor, maybe, but your, your second pull is not going to be as powerful, especially once it gets heavy. It's going to throw you forward, and you're going to miss the lift in front of you. Uh, so that's one big thing, uh, is having your butt pop up too quickly. So go ahead and, again, show one good rep where your butt doesn't pop up. So this is how it's supposed to look. Watch his hips. They stay below his shoulders. So good starting position. There you go. Now when he gets into that, to that transition second pull position, He's up here, and he's not all the way bent over. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's a good job with keeping your hips down. Also, we want to, at the, I'll demo this one myself. Right here, we want to be at least midfoot heavy, and then as we stand through the, sec, through the first pull, rather, we want to be rocking towards our heels. We want to be very heel heavy at the top of the first pull. So Alex, go ahead and demo that. I want you to, it's hard to see, but you're going to look at, his, at the center of pressure on his feet. He's not toe heavy. He's, his hips are back, and he's very heel heavy when he gets to the top of that first pull. And that's going to make the bar come into him as it comes off the ground. So he's very heel heavy there. Beautiful. Where he doesn't want to be is he doesn't want to push through the middle of his foot and end up on his toes. He comes forward like that, which is super hard to see. But right now, the center of pressure is about right here instead of being back there. And what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, is he's going to pick it up, he's going to be here, and since my pressure is on my toes, when I go to transition, everything comes forward and then I drop the weight in front of me. So as you uh, go through the first pull, your weight should be going from midfoot to very heel heavy. That way when you transition, everything's coming into you and you pull and the bar's coming over the top of you and you're not chasing out in front of you. You notice that as Alex pulls the bar off the ground, his knees stay out. He even gets into that little bit of a diamond shape with his legs, and his knees don't wobble in. So do a good one, a bad one, and then a good one again. So watch his knees. His knees stay out the whole time. 
beautiful, just like that. They don't wobble towards the inside as it comes off the floor. There you go. Can you, can you wobble really bad one time? There you go, that's pretty bad. Uh, here's, here would be a bad example if someone was here. You see this all the time where people, they come off the ground and then their knees go in like that. You don't want your knees to flop in and out like that, okay? So I'm here, my knees stay out. In fact, this would be a full first pull right, right to about there. My knees don't do is they don't go like this, okay? So knees out the whole time, just like squatting or deadlifting or any other movement where you're pressing on the ground. So two more great points. Uh, one is keeping the bar close to you, and one is speed off the floor. You can see how close the bar is to Alex without actually touching him. The bar doesn't want to touch him until it hits him on his hips, or maybe upper thigh. There you go. Bar was super close the whole time. If you look at the bar path, the bar is coming into him the whole time. His knee is over the bar, and then as he stands, as he stands, he's pushing his knees back, and the bar is coming into him. It's coming back into him, so he's pushing his knees back out of the way of the bar, and the bar is coming into him. What he's not doing is staying tall and moving the bar around his knees. So you never want to, you never want to lean back and move the bar around your knees like that. You always want to push your knees back away from the, away from the bar. Okay, last thing was speed off the floor. Basically, the point of the first pull is to put you in a good position for your second pull. And so a lot of times if you're, especially if you're used to uh, pulling like speed deadlifts or you're used to lifting off the floor as fast as possible, you might lift too quickly during your first pull and it screws you up and puts you out of position for your second pull. So your first pull can be a little bit slower then you could pick it up off the ground, but you want to do it only as fast as you can where you're staying in a good position, which basically for the most part means keeping your butt down. So sometimes people will pull too fast they end up doing the stripper snaps like we showed you earlier where your butt pops up too quickly. Go and do like a, a bad fast first pull where your butt pops up too quick. Come on, man. Pop it's, the butt up. it's hard to do it raw. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. That was pretty good. Start saying that's pretty bad because you're going to confuse people. Yeah. That was pretty good at being bad. <laughs> so that was a bad snatch. Your butt popped up too quick. Okay. So now slow down your first pull a little bit. Keep your butt down. Do a perfect first pull. There you go, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate some of these things just uh, in case you can't see that. Here would be a good first pull. Again, my butt stays down. Look at my back angle. I'm here where my back angle stayed the same basically the whole time. And then a bad, for the example we're talking about right now, would be where my butt comes way up and then I pick it up, okay? With that super exaggerated, it probably look more like this, like that, where my butt came up, and then I tried to get into a good power position where the bar connects with my hips. Um, so a little more exaggerated just so you can see it. The point is, is you want to keep a consistent back angle on your first pull. That way when you go to your second pull, it's only a small transition from basically there to there, and you're not all the way bent over when you go to try to do your second pull. <sighs> we missed anything? Nope. The way you describe it is exactly how John North snatches. <laughs> It's very true. He does have that, that Superman. I can just see the trolls now. It's like, but John Norris, Superman bull. <laughs> like, that's exactly what he does. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, there's a lot of variation, but for the most part, at least when you're first getting started, stick with doing it somewhat like this. As you become an expert, you can tweak it and make it your own. But this is, this, this is kind of the foundation of the first pull for the moment. So uh, we'll do another video on the transition, which is the, the phase following the first pull in a, in a separate video. If you want to check out that video, you can go to barbershrug.com and click on Technique Wad, and that video will be in the library.